Good morning, fellow pipers. The inaugural smoke of the LCS Chrysalis pipe. And um, to be honest, the only tobacco you can smoke in a pipe like this got to be London Fog. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I've got all OGS, you know, all the golden slice. But as I, I find OGS a little bit bland for me, so London Fog works perfectly. This is from uh, November 22. And this is my 11th LCS Briars pipe, guys. Absolutely stunning. Fabulous grain on that. Oh, yeah. What a beauty. Look at that, guys. Anyway, guys, tonight, today, today, today's waffle. I got me a uh, couple of Joes. Well, cheers, everybody. Night, guys. Thursday. Thursday afternoon. What time are we at, guys? We are at quarter past twelve. In the afternoon, that is, not at night, <laughs> as you might have guessed. <laughs> that um, cinnamon sugar on me coffee gets everywhere. I find the chocolate a little bit too rich for my liking, but I do like the cinnamon sugar with me uh, coffee coffee. I haven't uh, lined it with honey. I just thought I'd just, I'd just done a loose fill. I'm just going to see how it goes. Anyway, today's on today's video. Today's waffle. Got some packages going out, guys. Preparing some packages. I know I've got one for Paul Gilson. I've got one for Smoke Snacks. The guy here for Gareth and Katie. But I'm sure I promised, I promised guys or a couple of you smokers some other stuff. And for the life of me, I can't remember. So please, guys. I know I've got tobacco. I've got it in stock. I've ordered it for said packages. But I can't remember who I promised tobacco to. So, don't put anything in the box below. Hit me up at welshpiper62 at gmail.com with all your details. So, I'm going to need your address, what I've promised you, and um, what I said, you know, let me know. Because I've got, like I said, I've got loads of tobacco here, but I have ordered. And um, to be honest, it's getting in the way a little bit now. You know, I've got it in my loaded I've got a, like a, a multi metal drawer unit. It's got about 14, 15 drawers in it where I've got. You know, like uh, my pouches and stuff in and stuff like that, what I've ordered for people who I promised tobacco with, tobacco to, and I just forgot. Now, I'm not sure whether Mike Rose is one of them. So, Mike, let me know, will you? I, if I have promised, I'm sure I promised you some tobacco, and um, just hit me up with your address and your details and let me know what I've promised or anybody else, like I said. For some reason, Mike, Mike's comes, Mike's name comes to mind but well, if i've missed anybody please you know let me know at uh, said email address and i'll uh, get it shipped out to you asap and i apologize if i have forgotten you guys you know these are going out later than when i uh, anticipated unfortunately after yesterday's video we still no wiser as to uh where this package has come from, you know, what I've uh, been had a customs charge for. Like I said yesterday, I've checked on my uh, usual suppliers where I do order from. There's nothing outstanding, so I had no idea what it is. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit gazumped of what's going on. As you may be able to hear, it's raining again. But I thought, yeah, 
like I said, if I'm not sure whether to smoke this or put it on the put it out for show somewhere, but they're made for smoking, aren't they, guys? No matter how intricate they are, let's be honest, they're made for smoking. We got the pipe cleat. We got a pipe meet up in uh, the Cheshire Pipe Club on Sunday. This will be going with me. Along with another new pipe, which is the um, Lake Mar Bryant's pipe, the um, one from Ian Walker, the Jerry pipe, which is a Zulu shape. It's got a green, green and black Cumberland stem with a silver band on it. It's a rock, what he calls his rocks cut. I think they're a the group three Zulu. Nice size pipe, so I'll be taking that with me as well. I know a few of the lads are disappointed that they they were expecting a Northern Briars box, you know, with the with the pipe, and they got a uh, this cardboard box with a pipe. But you don't buy the pipe for the box, do you guys? You buy the pipe because you enjoy the enjoy the shape, you enjoy the the maker, you enjoy whatever. You know, you don't buy it for the box, do you? Let's be honest. Tell you what, this London fog tastes really nice. Like I said, it's nearly two years old. And I'm not getting, because uh, Simon's lying the bowl. I think you put two coats on it just to make sure because of that um, issue we found. I'm not getting no taste of new pipe, new wood, you know. Even though it's a nine mil, nine mil filter, I'm gonna I'm push it. I haven't put a filter in that. I've left that uh, as an option for myself. I could always put a uh, reducer in it if I need be. I start getting too much tobacco in my mouth. Yeah, then obviously I'll put a reducer in it. But at the moment, I'm finding I'm smoking more and more pipes without my filters. I hope that keeps you happy, Mr. Gilson. You watched Mr. Gilson's video yesterday. I'm talking about people with um, who use filters. He was got. Uh, he had a uh, let's just say an unsavoury name. He didn't actually say the name, but I know what he was thinking. I put it in the comments. But to me, we're all enjoying the same hobby, pipe smoking, and whatever blends we enjoy, you know. And I think it's a matter of personal preference whether you want to filter or not. And I know I might have been just joking, but to, uh, you know, in a way, call out other pipe smokers, in my opinion. I wasn't, um, I didn't like that. I've got to be honest, I didn't like that, you know. We all enjoy the hobby. I mean, a lot of people don't want the tar and the the bad or the bad crap coming through the tobaccos into their mouth. You know, very understandable. And I think Paul should respect um, other pipe smokers. You know, and Paul, it's not, it's not. You know, it's it's. Um, this is just my opinion, by the way. You know, you might have been having a bit of a laughing joke, but. Not like I've took it to heart or anything, but, you know, I just think, you know, when you, there's a lot of people who do smoke a filtered pipe. Even in America, a lot of people use filters, but um, it's just a case of let's enjoy the hobby together, eh? No matter how we smoke our tobacco. Yeah, so I've got not much, pl not nothing planned today. Obviously, I've got work tonight. I'm up a little bit earlier than what I like, but <sighs> cheers, everybody. <sighs> I'm not um, 
I mean, we've gone through YouTube today. There's not, not much going about. There's a few goals going about, which I don't bother entering no more. As I've explained before, there's too many rogues, I think, you know, getting into the uh, community and just after the freebie. I mean, when you, got, you, know, when you hear a lot of people and you hear a lot of names that you never heard of before, okay, you're not going to know everybody in the, in the community. But a lot of them could be uh, watchers or lurkers, whatever you want to call them. But it's just, there's just too many people, in my opinion, winning these goals who have never heard of. That's my opinion, guys. So that's why I've stopped partaking in GAWs. But uh, that's just my, my opinion, you know. Yeah, it's another wet and miserable day. So, nothing, um, I've got no plans at the moment. There's nothing, not much going on. Like I said, I'm not ordering, ordering any uh, tobacco, cigars and, and anything else. No, that's going to be to next April at least. <coughs> I don't have gas again, I have. Always good to have a backup. Watching, uh, looked at uh, Dave's video with his cigars he's got in his uh, over in uh, Wyoming. Got some fantastic cigars there. Wow. Unfortunately, most of them are unobtainable. Nat Fuente one. Oh, Nat Red. Did you see that big, massive box he had? And the th like three, well, one was a book in the middle, then two, two, um, like humidors, individual humidors, and uh, or boxes, whatever you want to count. What looked like a, a book. What a fantastic display that is. I mean, that, that mean, I know we don't go on about um, value of cigars and stuff like that, and we don't buy them or. You know, for things like that. I know a lot of people do buy cigars to make, you know, keep them and make a profit on them. But that, that must be worth a few, a good few, few, a good few dollars, as we say. Looks fantastic. It's, I mean, the, this is the presentation. Well, all the boxes he's showing, if you have a look at the video, it actually looks fantastic. Some of the pleasant the boxes they're bringing out now, the, the design on these boxes for cigars is absolutely amazing. Yeah, got a fantastic humidor he has, must admit. I mean, I was just looking at, at the house, you know, I was looking at his staircase. If you look, look to the left of that video, you look at his staircase, because it looks like he's got it upstairs. You see his staircase, and and it it looks a lot bigger than um, what we've seen. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember whether Dave's done a show us all around. The, all of, you know, obviously, he's not going to show us, you know, the bedrooms and stuff. We don't expect that, but... Um, it just I mean, I was looking at how, how the way it was built and the wood, you know, it looked absolutely fantastic, you know, amazing property. Just the way it's been built, just, you know, that just caught me eye and, you know, it's just things like that. I mean, I love, I mean, I love architecture, no matter what form it comes in, but. Well, like you can say it's only a, a log cabin or a log home or whatever. It's, it's not. It's not a cabin, is it? It's a home. And the way it looks, you know. I don't know if Dave himself would Dave, they'd like to show us a little bit more about the um, the nice, you know, the aspects of the of the of your home there. You know, like the staircase and how they've fitted, you know, some of the wood around it. You know how they, you know. I like things like how they've done the joints and things like that, you know. How they've mingled things together. Looks absolutely wonderful. Looks absolutely you know, beautiful home.
I mean, if I showed you around my house, guys, you'd end up laughing because, you know, it's so small. I mean, the kitchen is barely enough to swing a cat in. Our living room lounge, whatever you want to call it. It's not a huge 15 foot by 12 foot, something like that. And we've got two bedrooms, you know, upstairs. So, and a bathroom. And then we also have, also have a uh, water closet downstairs and next to the kitchen. And for people wondering why I've got a water closet downstairs in the kitchen, it was uh, the houses they built here, the four houses they built. They got extra wide doors for wheelchair access, so that's what they originally built them for. I don't know whether they originally built them for disabled people, but um, that's, why, that's the reason why they got a, you know, a water closet downstairs near the kitchen. Use it as a cloakroom. Because when you come through our front door, there's nowhere for us to put. We don't have a uh, anywhere we can put coats or anything. You know, we don't have a cloakroom on the front of the door. We don't have like a porch or anything like that. So all all our coats and stuff goes in the uh, downstairs water closet. I do like the outside space here, our small back garden. You know, I do like it out here. But it's big compared to some, but there again, there's a lot more, a lot bigger. You know, it's just, it's just one of them, isn't it? See that 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 uh, that um that, that package. Like I said, one hundred and thirty-six pounds. Supposed to be trying to save money. And um, sorry, little midge that was, guys. Sorry, <laughs> um, wasn't me just having a twitch. It was it was a midge. Um, I was having a yeah. Like I said, I'm trying to save money and to go and see, I can't go and check what the package is and then neither refuse it or accept it because if I refuse it, wherever it's come from, they get told it's been refused. And then if it's something I've ordered and I forgot about, like I said, I can't, there's nothing outstanding on my orders. I've got less chance of getting a refund. Because I guess if it gets sent back and they just say unable to deliver, I've got more chance of a, a refund. Because if you go down and refuse it, you know, because of the charges, then customs will let know the supplier or wherever it's come from, and then you don't get you you know definitely don't get a refund. From from past experience, guys. Excuse me. I will say I've had some customs charges. They're absolutely ridiculous. Like 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 a few a few you guys a few you get, sorry a few of you guys have said you know they just seem to make up a figure. It's supposed to be four pounds eighty five, I believe, per thirty grams of tobacco. And when you weigh out, say like a two ounce tin, fifty grams. And then they send you the bill for like what well, few people have had like eighty pounds or you know just seem to make up figures. I mean I had a, I had a website on me um well I kept the Fox Cigars, he was sending me um emails. I must have subscribed to uh to the you know the emailing service, and I went on went on this morning, and it, I got the on the you know 
which is, apparently they don't. They only it's only allowed to ship in Mexico, USA, places like that. So uh, our it comes up to us. Uh -uh, not allowed to view. You know, we get a lot of sites like that. You know, if you have a look on, so with cigars or you know, sorry, we don't we can't supply or it doesn't meet our regulations or something. And you just get a blank, just get a blank saying, you know, website, you know, not allowed to view this website or whatever it is. This is smoking, even for the first bowl, very well. So what I might do, I might hit this. Get a nice cake on this, build it up. I'll smoke this most of the day now. I'll get a couple of bowls into it and then rest it Friday. It's, uh, I don't know whether you guys do your best your pipes or not. Because from what I'm hearing, you, you know, a lot of people say rest, give it give a day between that your pipes rest for a day, you know, between smokes. I don't know whether that's just bum come. Or you know, or if it does make a difference, I don't know. Let me know what your what's your opinions, guys. Should you rest your pipes? You think back in the uh, back in the day, like you know, you know when they go when the, the people just used to have like one pipe or two pipes, they'd smoke them day in day out, wouldn't they? So I don't know why. I don't see why the reason you should need to rest a, your pipe every other day, like, you know, or smoke it every other day. I wouldn't affect, I wouldn't think it would affect the briar. But it's London Fog. I think I'm going to have to make some, up some more. I think this is my last jar, unless I've got some upstairs in my cellar. No, I say my cellar, I call it my cellar, but you know, it's just the spare room. <laughs> Sorry about that guy slurping a little bit there. Do you please excuse me for that? I was trying to drink it without getting all the, all the foam on me, all over me moustache. Well, congratulations to um, Gareth and Katie on the 300 subs, by the way. Like I said, I don't, don't do uh, goals or give away your, your VRs. I don't not really, not into really, you know, not unless someone specifically asked me to do a VR for something, then I'll do it. But in general, I don't really do VRs. And you can call me a miserable get or, you know, whatever you want. Your opinion at the end of the day, it's just something I'm, I'm not really um, bothered about, really. But congratulations, Garrett and Katie. Fantastic channel. Just me and you, I say 300, you know, and you'll soon, you'll soon be hitting 1,000, no doubt. And Jesse keeping us all ahead with the new, new, new uh, people coming into the community. Nice one, Jesse. <laughs> Saturday, I might try them. Uh, them cigars. I got what Terry, pipe smoking beekeeper, as um. Been getting it the um, the Esteli, I think they're called. Got the Polar and the Solar. We'll give them a try. I know one's a bit stronger than the other. I think one's a uh, Nicaraguan and one's Dominican. I'm presuming the Nicu if I remember rightly, the Nicu arguing should be more, should be stronger than the uh, 
Gimana kan? Don't quote me on that, guys. I get mixed up. I think Dominican is the um, the milder. Don't correct. I was looking at, so I was sorting out some of my cigars the other day. You know, a bit like Dave's done. He's got a uh, his desktop humidor, and um, he's got a couple of smoke. You know, one of each of his favourite, his top tens or whatever, and his couple of his uh, honourable mentions. So I put two of my favourite um, or current favourite smokes, I should say. That can always change, can it? I don't know whether I've got a top 10 or such. Maybe it might be worth doing a video on it and just tell you what my favourite cigars are at the moment. I mean, I've got, I got some cheap ones in there. I've got some not so cheap in there, you know. And some of the cheap ones are great. Just a everyday go-to. You know, just grab one if you feel like and smoke it like, you know. Odyssey. For instance, we've got three different types of the Odyssey. I've got the the sweet tips. I've got the Habano. I've got the fun. I got the full. Oh, actually, I've got four. I got the. I got the sweet tip, Habano, Maduro, and the full. Now I think I'm sure. The Habano. I think it's the Habano or the Maduro. I'm actually, I'm actually low on, but not like I've got shorter cigars, so no, I'm not worried about them. I think it's the Habano, because the Maduro, I'm sure, has got a red band on it. I know I've got plenty of them. I know me with three tips, yellow band, no problem with them, got plenty of them in. The uh, the Fulls, got a black and silver band. I've not long, I've not long got some of them in, so that's like a new bundle, weren't enough. But a couple I've given out. Yeah, so it'll be the Habanos, the blue banded ones, which I'll be, I think I've got like maybe one or two left of them. Um, been in touch with your mate, Pipe Monkey Gary. Been rather quiet the last couple of weeks because he's been been redecorating, been redoing his bathroom or whatever. No, not bathroom, one of the bedrooms. Yeah, so he's had uh, he's had all the walls done and everything. He's had to have that some re skimmed, re plastered and all that. Totally, total, uh, total redecoration on one of the one of the bedrooms there. So it's been rather quiet, and I've been. Checking up on him, make sure everything's okay. But he's doing all right. Let's give the pipe. <coughs> Got a little bit of a uh, wet in the pipe there. Just drawing it through the uh, the stem, so I'll just give it a shake out. Like I said, I'm not going to. Uh, in this you can hear the kids at the school next door all right guys we're coming up to uh, yeah we're coming to 30 minutes so i don't want to make it too long this video so as usual i wish you well if you're under the weather get well soon Enjoy your smokes, whatever you're smoking. Don't let life get you down. Try and make every day an enjoyable day. Don't let people piss it off. Not worth it, is it, guys? Life's too short. Just enjoy it. Enjoy life to the full if you can. I'm going to finish my bowl of London Fog. Simon, like you said, it had to come home, didn't it? Beautiful chrysalis. Stunning pipe. And uh, like I said, the new stem I asked him for works perfectly with this. Colours, colours match. Great. 
you know, he did do a original black stem. But I think this is like, yeah, I think this works out much better, this one. All right, guys, I love you and leave you. Take care. Keep well. Be safe. Enjoy your smokes. And I'll see you on the next Welsh's Waffle. All the best, everybody. And don't forget, if I promise you a package, let me know at the email address, welshpiper62 at gmail.com. Let me know what I promised you. So obviously give us your address details and I'll uh, I'll get that out this weekend, guys, because obviously I want to get these packages sent out. I hate, I know I promised guys, and I, I promised you stuff and you want to think, you know, he's not bothered and all that. I've not forgot. Well, I haven't away because I forgot what to send out. So just let me know in that way we have address, guys, and uh, I'll get that sorted for you. Thanks very much. Much appreciated, each and every one of my subscribers. Hope you're still enjoying the channel and take care, everybody. See you in the next one.